Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of carotid artery stenosis. A 69 years old male patient came with history of recurrent stroke. He had also gone through coronary artery bypass graft. He came for post CABG routine checkup and the clinician sent the patient to us for a carotid Doppler study. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here is the picture of the intima medial thickness we have tried to measure from the left internal carotid artery and left common carotid artery. The intima medial thickness or IMT is increased, it is more than 0.8 and both one. Now when we check the spectral Doppler, you can see the common carotid artery shows normal blood flow on the left. This is the external carotid artery, this is also having good blood flow. This is the left vertebral artery showing the normal blood supply. But the problem came when we tried to scan the left internal carotid artery. Here you can see the carotid bulb and the internal carotid artery here. If you check carefully, you may see only the atherosclerotic change. There is a type 3 plaque at the carotid bulb here. Otherwise, internal carotid artery lumen looks quite normal. Now when we put the color Doppler, you can see there is a turbulent flow with aliasing and the lumen is significantly stenosed with type 1 sonolucent soft plaque. So this sonolucent plaque is causing severe stenosis here. Now when we put the spectral Doppler from this area, there was a huge turbulent flow and you can see the peaks are getting cut off due to high velocity flow. So we have increased the scale or PRF and you can see there is very high velocity flow here with loss of spectral window indicating this is a severe luminal narrowing or stenosis. Here is the measurement and you can see the systolic velocity is 415 centimeter per second which is quite high in comparison to the common carotid artery. Here is the picture. You can see the lumen shows a narrow turbulent flow. This sonolucent area is completely filled with type 1 plug. Type 1 plug comes as sonolucent and you only can see them on color Doppler as signal void area. Here is the measurement we tried and you can see almost 80% luminal narrowing at this point. We have also checked other areas and here you can see the left common carotid artery and left carotid bulb shows mild luminal narrowing due to type 2 and 3 plaques. Now let's check the right side. Here on the right side there was intimidial thickening on the right common carotid artery and internal carotid artery and there was mild luminal narrowing due to type 2 and type 3 plaques in distal common carotid artery. Here is the spectrum and you can see the normal spectral flow is noted in the right common carotid and external carotid artery here and also in the right internal carotid artery and vertebral artery. So in summary, severe luminal narrowing or stenosis is noted in proximal part of left internal carotid artery due to sonolucent or type 1 plaque. These sonolucent plaques are risky and they usually dislodge and cause recurrent cerebral ischemia. Mild luminal narrowing or stenosis is noted in bilateral common carotid artery and left carotid bulb due to soft and mixed plaques that is the type 2 and type 3 plaques. Mild atherosclerotic intermedial thickening is noted on both common carotid and internal carotid arteries. Now the take home message. In case of recurrent stroke, search for sonolucent or type 1 soft plaques in carotid system. It is very necessary to identify the cause of recurrence and these soft plaques are one of the most common causes and obviously these plaques are well visualized on color Doppler. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.